Did I mention Tom Atkins is in Halloween 3? Because Tom Atkins is in Halloween 3. Hello everybody and welcome back to 13 Days of Horror. Ooh, spooky. I haven't been choosing the best films, let's be honest. But that's the price you pay when you're a horror fan. You must dig deep for the gems. Unfortunately, the gems are hidden in a bunch of crap. So, yesterday's movie was a slice of 80s cheese, a staple of the blockbuster video store rental section. Well, every section was the rental section, but horror section. Um, but, and it sucked. But I thought we'd give the 80s another chance because... I was born in 1980, I grew up in the 80s, and some of my favorite films, uh, not just horror films, but films in general, are from the 80s. So, today, I'm going to watch the seminal 1989 classic, Slugs. Yes, Slugs. One of the uh, many, many many killer animal films um, that weren't even, that have just always been popular. Actually, we haven't seen any of those in a while, but uh, I'm surprised, I don't think I've seen this. I actually watched the first minute of the trailer just to be sure, and uh, nothing was ringing a bell, so I think I may have missed this one, which is kind of funny because I've seen a lot of killer animal movies. I've seen uh, movies with killer piranha, Killer worms, killer frogs, killer praying mantis eye, killer bunnies. <laughs> I love that movie. Um, lots of killer spider movies. Um, and I'm not talking, well, the, the Night of Lepus was uh, giant bunnies, but most of these are just regular sized animals. Um, I mean, you always have movies like them that are giant ants, but. Uh, um, I don't think I've seen... I've seen Ticks. <laughs> ticks. Um, but I don't believe I've seen Slugs. So, really, I, I don't expect a phenomenal movie. I, I, I don't expect to come back in an hour and a half and say it was snubbed at the Oscars that year. Um, all I really want is a bunch of people to die in particularly gooey, gory ways. I am a sick human being. There is a scene in this movie where two kids are having sex. And the girl is saying, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. During this thing, this scene, I was thinking to myself, has anyone in the history of lovemaking ever felt compelled to instruct their partner not to stop? Has this ever been a problem? Have any of you been having sex and your partner just suddenly gives up and goes to, does something else? Is that a thing that happens? It, it must. I've heard the don't stop phrase in several movies. I imagine that's based on something. So I'm watching this scene, I'm thinking, what, are, is this something this character does? Does he routinely just sex, 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 sex? Oh, look, something shiny and just wanders off. It's like, hey, hey, no, no. It's like, okay, okay, next time during sex, I'm going to repeatedly tell him, remind him, don't stop. And the guy's having sex, and he's like, don't stop. Oh, don't stop, right, keep going. Okay, uh, getting distracted. Oh, don't stop, right, Th thank you for reminding me, because, <laughs> God, my mind wanders. That's what I was thinking during the scene. 
And then the character just kind of stops. <laughs> I guess she really did have a need to instruct him not to stop. Methinks he drank too much and his performance was failing. And he, because so he reaches for the bedside stand for more alcohol to recharge. She yelled at him beforehand not to drink so much. It, this movie actually has kind of an interesting uh, down-the-nose look at alcohol. Now, horror movies always look down their nose at sex, alcohol, drugs, any type of misbehavior. But that's kind of interesting because there's, there's another woman in this movie who is, drink, everyone, she drinks too much. Do you think she's pretty? No, she drinks too much. And then she's like, husband, I drink too much. I should get help. And the husband dies and not her. Uh, the other, the other two, the, the lovemaking couple are, uh, you know, have that fight over alcohol and then they both die. And it's, it's kind of interesting because, um, they're lovemaking, making love on the bed, having the sexy times and the camera pans over to the toilet. Normally you pan over to a crackling fireplace or pass some candles or something. No, it pans over to the toilet and a bunch of slugs are kind of crawling out of the toilet. Dun, dun, dun. So, he stops to recharge with alcohol. It's probably not going to work, dude. I don't know how I, why I'm assuming that or why I would know that, but uh, it's just something that came to me. Um, so, anyway, she, I don't remember why she gets off the bed, but she does. And have you ever played The Floor is Lava? The floor is lava! Don't touch the floor! Same thing in this case, only the floor is slugs. Like, someone said, instead of shag, we're gonna have slugs covering every square inch of the floor. And she falls face first, naked, into slugs. And gets eaten. Because that's what slugs do. Um... Now, I, I, I thought to myself, goodness me, how much time would it take slugs, a fairly slow-moving creature, to ooze its way from the toilet, down the side of the toilet, across the bathroom floor, across the threshold, and into the bedroom, and surround the bed, and cover the entire floor? How long would that take? Hours? It would have to take at least two hours, right? Which means these two had been going at it for hours. Suddenly I'm inclined to cut this guy a little slack for taking a break to recharge. In fact, her cries of um, don't stop, don't stop might, might be a little bit too demanding. It's like, come on, honey. We've been going for two hours straight. Let me catch my breath. So, yeah. Um, as I said uh, before I watched the movie, uh, a lot of times, what, did I say this? Did I ever say this? I'll say it now. A lot of times with horror movies, really all you need is some great gore. These movies are terrible, but they've got such fun, uh, gory scenes in them. Like a naked woman falling face first into a pile of slugs. <laughs> That's gold! Even if everything around it is kind of crap. And this movie is, even by horror movie standards, one of the most sloppily plotted, scripted, and edited films I have seen. It is a damned mess. Uh... Don't know if I'd recommend it. It's a good movie to maybe have on and half pay attention to. You know, play your 3DS or something. Oh, a neat scene. <laughs> that person's face exploded. <laughs> That's awesome. Eh, people are talking again. Okay. Do, 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 do. This movie also has some of the weirdest damn music cues. Um, earlier in the early in the film, the uh, sheriff and who we find out later is the public safety inspector, public health inspector. 
Uh, I don't think they introduce him until later, so I spent the first part of the movie going, who is this guy and why does anyone care his opinion on things? Um, the, so the police car is driving up to the house where they're trying to evict some old guy because he didn't pay his rent, I guess, or maybe his dog yap, 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 and the neighbors complained. Um, where is it going with this? Oh, the music. And it's... The music would have been appropriate in Super Mario Galaxy or Star Fox. It's this big, bombastic, bomb, 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 and it's <laughs> like we're just it's so inappropriate. Even the very end of the movie, where the the slugs are dead, but one, and uh, the the guy is you know kissing his wife because they're happy that the slugs are gone. The music sounds like the, the 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 closing song to an '80s sitcom, like 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 Three's Company or something. It's so damn weird, and there's so many instances of that throughout the film. Um, <clears throat> this movie did make me laugh out loud uh, at least twice. Um, uh, the first time is about half an hour into the movie. Uh, there's some old guy in his greenhouse. And a slug crawls into his uh, work glove. And he sticks his hand in there. And this slug is uh, like the size of a chicken sausage. I mean, I mean a really big slug. There, there is no damn way he'd stick his hand in there and not notice a big squishy thing. What the hell is that? It puts him on just fine. And he's like, ow! Ow! <laughs> and he starts slamming his hand against the... Uh, um, against the table. Ah, of course, his wife is inside vacuuming and listening to the radio so she can't hear. <laughs> and he knocks over some chemicals that uh, create some... Uh, that mix together and create some fume, which I think is exactly what happens in the movie Frogs. Um, and then he knocks over a, 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 a shelf of plants on himself. He's, ah, my hand. And he grabs the hatch and starts hacking his hand off. And then um, uh, something, and then his wife comes in and sees him hacking his hand off with a hatchet. And she's, ah, and he's, ah. And um, then a spark happens somehow and the, the chemicals light on fire. And for some reason there's a, big uh, carton of gasoline in the greenhouse. I, I, I would assume there's like a really good reason to keep a big thing of gasoline in the greenhouse. But um, it didn't go so the whole damn thing explodes. Uh, that was good. Um, uh, the, the other part I laughed was the, the guy, the alcoholic wife's husband, um... <clears throat> Uh, she has, she buys some cabbage and there's a slug in there and she chops it up and doesn't notice. She thinks it's anchovies or something. And so he eats slug and the slugs have these little, uh, parasites in them. So he's just ingested a bunch of parasites. He goes and is having a, a business luncheon, uh, with the clients and, um, he, he has a glass of water, right? And he starts drinking and blood starts pouring out of his nose and into the water glass which is a really cool visual. And he's like, and he just screams, and he's, ah, ah, and then he's writhing on the floor, and suddenly his eyeball explodes with worms shooting out. Oh, uh, it was great. I'm sick, I know. Um, I mentioned earlier that some of the attitudes toward liquor are not unheard of for uh, horror movies, because they're always, as I said, looking down their nose at vices. Uh, but usually the, this movie seemed to have a problem with alcohol and drinking, not so much the people using it. Uh, cause as I said, the, the alcoholic wife gets away scot-free. There's another thing that's kind of weird. There's a, uh, there, there's a girl who, uh, they're like, let's go to the Halloween party where no one actually wears a Halloween costume. She's there. She says, I don't, well, I feel underdressed. No one else is wearing a Halloween costume. So it's so weird. Um, but she's like, I got to study. And they're like, come on. And she's, okay. And so she's there and this guy's harassing her. And she says, let's go. And the, the other guy says, okay, yeah, let's go. And then it, the camera pans over to them and they're making out against a building. And he slides his hand up her skirt and she says, no. And he's like, what? But, 
but, but you like me. She's like, well, yeah, I, I mean, I like you, but not like your hands in my pants level like you. He's like, huh? But, but you like, you like talk to me and stuff. That's totally a green light. You horrible woman who is leading me on. And then he tries to stick his hand in up her skirt again. And she says, no. And he's like, well, fine, you, you, you mean woman who, who led me on by kissing me. And that's totally a green light. I'm going to walk off in a huff and call you a bitch to all our friends. Huff, huff, huff. And he walks off. And there's some other guy. The guy who's harassing her in the first place is watching this whole thing. And he goes, hmm. Hmm. I'm the only person here who actually brought a Halloween mask. And he tries to rape her. And she fights him off and runs away and hides in the sewer and gets eaten by slugs. Because she is a horrible person who wanted to study instead of go to a party? And the handsy guy and the rapist both don't die. What are you trying to say here, movie? What are you trying to say? Hmm. To be fair, I don't think the movie's trying to say anything, because as I said, it's really damn... Oh, hey, look, Blockbuster video cards still on my couch. Um, uh, oh, the, the, the two lovers. Yeah, the, the girl falls uh, naked into the pile of slugs. The guy does too. The guy, the guy, it, <laughs> he's trying to, um, uh, her, the, the, the girl, the makeup effect is really, actually really cool because she, she's got like skull exposed and her eyeballs hanging out and he's, oh, and he's trying to bridge the, uh, you know, not hit the floor because the floor is lot or the floor is slugs and he's reaching to the window and he, you know, his hands are on the windowsill and his feet are on the bed. And his dangly bits are dangling towards the slugs, which you don't see. I'm just using my imagination. <laughs> so he just kind of falls crotch first <laughs> into a pile of slugs. It's great. Um, that'll teach you to drink, you horrible person. You horrible person who has like uh, three hours worth of sexual stamina and needs to take a break every couple of hours for a swig of alcohol. Um, <clears throat> what else? What else? What else? Um, they try to do the Jaws thing where you've got to close the beach because there's a shark. Uh, only... <sighs> there's a ton of movies where the one person knows what's going on and usually it's some schlub, the crazy guy, like in Chud. The, the people, they find out that there's a monster somewhere and they go tell the authorities or kill the clowns from outer space. You're not going to make a dummy out of me. Um, they'll tell the police. They'll tell the authorities. There's killer clowns. There's big slugs. There's something going on. Ah! And they're like, oh, you drunk person. Or you were lying in the past. Or you're just stupid kids. Go away. This is the county health inspector. And nobody listens to him. He goes to the uh, water department. He's like, look, you've got to shut off the water because we've got a contaminant in it. They're like, no, no, you're crazy. Um, now granted, he does say killer slugs, but for some reason, he goes to the the water guy, he goes to the mayor, he goes to some, uh, the sheriff, no one believes him. And he's the say, and he's the county health inspector guy, no one listens to this guy. Of course, it might have helped if he would have brought one of the slugs along, which he had plenty of, because he plops a couple in a jar and takes them to his scientist friend. Um... I think they may have killed a few slugs in this movie. Not cool. But if that's just a really good prop, clappity clap. I think they may have terrorized a gerbil in this film too, but um <clears throat> Yeah, he he's like there's killer mutant slugs. It's like and you never even think, oh, maybe I should have brought it. It's like, look, <laughs> these <laughs> damn things are in our water. Um so, he's talking to his wife, and she's like, have you tried pouring salt on him? He, 
that's a really good idea. And it's never brought up again. Instead, he goes to the science lab guy who has invented this chemical mixture that when it hits water will explode! Will explode the little bastards! You just got to get them all in one place. Okay, because they're breeding in the sewer. All right, so we'll dump all this crap on him and, bl and he says, are you sure this isn't going to, like, you know, blow up the entire town? And the scientist guy goes, I don't know. Well, it's worth a try. I'm thinking, how about salt? <laughs> you never, you thought it was a good idea, but they don't try it. Um, so they go down in a sewer and... Um, I'm not really sure why to try and lure them into one place. Not sure how. They've got a garbage bag full of meat. I I guess maybe the scent is, um, uh, just, I don't know. Sloppily plotted movie. It doesn't make any sense. Um, <clears throat> so there's this, uh, they're trying to get out of the sewer. And, uh, there's this big pool of water that's got slugs in it. How do we get across? Um, I, I know, we'll chuck the bag of meat into one side, and they'll be busy over there, and I, I guess the idea is swim? And then they don't do that. And then they try to go back, but there's slugs on the ground, which they can't go over, even though they went over them on the way there. And the guy says, oh, no, we'll, we'll go out through this panel here. Okay. And he opens the panel, and water rushes in him, knocks him into the pool, and he's, Oh, the slugs are biting my butt! Ah! Ah! And the, the lead guy is, Give me your hand! And he's, Ah! Ah! He's, Oh, no, he's in the middle of the pool, and I can't reach him from the side. I'll just use this pipe! do 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 Ah! Oh, no, you can't reach! And he hooks his leg up over the pipe and hames up down and tries to get it. He's like, oh no, the, he's, uh, he's all dead and stuff. And so he shimmies across the pipe over to the ladder and up and out and he's like... Why didn't you guys just shim across the pipe over to the ladder in the first place? <sighs> okay. So, um... Yeah, he gets out of the sewer and they dump the toxic crap in there. And it explodes and uh, pops a few uh, sewer cover, manhole covers, uh, explodes the front of some store on some street somewhere and blows up two other houses. I mean, kaboom, Independence Day explosion kaboom. So yeah, we did just kind of destroy, I hope no one was home. Maybe they were all at the Halloween party. Did I mention the handsy guy and the rapist? You know, the, the 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 guy was trying to stick his hand in the girl's pants. Uh, he's like, bitch. Last we see of him. Rapist guy is like, rapity, rapity, rape. Oh, no, she got away. Oh, well. And then he, he you never see him again. And then the, the good guy is like, where's Annie or Jenny or Susan or whatever the hell her name is? The the guy, the, the girl you tried to rape and her calling a bitch because she wouldn't put out because she should because she talk to you and that means girls say yeah I don't know so he's I'm gonna go look Annie Annie you never see that's the last you see him never see him again either never see the, the alcoholic woman never see her again the main guy's wife he says go to your mother's cuz look in the kitchen see all the slugs on the floor they're out to get us go to your mother's I'm going to save the town by blowing it up and he blows up the town and she shows up and he says, I thought I told you to go to your mother's. He doesn't say that. They embrace and kiss and the poorly chosen music plays while the credits roll. But that would have been awesome if he yelled. It's like, why didn't I, didn't I tell you to go to your mother's? Um, another weird scene is uh, the couple the couple that blow up in the greenhouse. Um, he comes home. She's working in her garden. And she says... Hey, you know, Rich and Don? And he goes, yeah, they're dead. <laughs> That's an interesting choice for a line reading. Hey, you know the Nelsons? Yeah, they died. Whew, tonal whiplash there, goodness. Mm. No, it's not a good movie. 
It's got some great... It does have some pretty good gore in it. Oh, the opening scene is... Uh, the actors were as bored as any actor. So you have a guy and a girl out on a boat fishing. And the girl's like, So we came out here just to fish? Yep. Oh, but I thought we could, like, swim or something. Nope. And so she yanks her pants off, and she's wearing underwear. Were you really expecting to swim? If you were, why aren't you wearing a swimsuit? Those are cotton underwears. That's just... I mean, you can swim in that, but... So he somehow falls in the water and it does it. Th and so he falls in the water and ah and goes under the water and she's like, Stuart, Stuart, this isn't funny. He's been under the water for like a minute and a half and she's talking, Stuart, this isn't funny. Stop that, Stuart. Stuart, I'm going to row this boat right back to the shore. Stu like he could hear... I do you think he can actually hear you? Well, I mean, maybe he has demonstrated that he can hold his breath for several minutes. The men in this universe obviously have incredible stamina, so being able to hold your breath underwater for minutes at a time is probably not that far-fetched, but do you really think he can hear you under there? Ah, uh, well. <clears throat> she survives, by the way. I totally expected the, I don't know, the slugs to tip the boat over or something. No, I, I guess she's fine. I mean, it's always nice when horror movies uh, defy expectations, um, but, uh, yeah, I've been going on long enough, but uh, I, one more little anecdote from a completely different movie uh, to explain a, a horror movie that defies expectations. There's a movie called The Dread. Um, I... I don't know if this was ever, like, officially released. I have a copy of it. My dad was in it, so I have a, uh... Someone burned a DVD of the film for me, so I've seen it. It's... Eh, it's okay. Um... But there's... It's one of those, uh... There's a haunted presence in a school building, and it's gonna kill all the people that are there after hours. It possesses you, you know, like the Evil Dead or something. It possesses you and makes you kill other people. And um, this one girl's like, well, screw this, I'm leaving. I'm not, no, we have to all stick together and fight the, oh, up, the, F this, I'm out. And she walks out the hallway, and you're like, okay, because whenever you split up in a horror movie, you get killed. And so she uh, walks out and starts heading down the dark and spooky hallway. And music. You're like, oh, something's gonna happen. And she approaches the door of the building. And she opens it, walks out, and walks down the street and leaves. And she's out of there. That's I that's my favorite part of that movie. She she just leaves. She's peace out. <laughs> she's gone. I thought the door would be locked and then something would eat her face, but nope. <laughs> No, she just, she's like, screw this supernatural crap, I'm out of here. She just walks out the front door, down the walk, and starts walking down the street. She's gone. Oh, that's great. I don't know if, I, I don't know if that was actually the intention to subvert expectations like that, but I love that. Anyway, uh, this is, what, day seven or so of 13 Days of Horror? Ah, goodness me. Maybe I'll try a movie uh, tomorrow that uh, I've heard of and I, I know a lot of people. Like, I Saw the Devil. Movie I'd heard of, got great reviews, I liked it. So maybe I'll try another one of those. Or maybe a killer shark movie. <laughs>